this is now day two of my sober october experience as i mentioned yesterday i'm going i'm doing it you know because since i came back from a holiday i went away blah blah, blah you know shit can't happen so i'm having to start it nine days well you know a, a few days before after it kind of started so i'm going to end my sober october on the 9th of november so if you guys are still hanging on that that far ahead into the new into november then let me know be in the comments give this video a like and let me know how you're feeling but i've made a list of all the stuff i'm going to do because i mentioned this i was going to do that and i think making lists and stuff and writing stuff down is really important um goal setting um I've been, yeah, I've been a bit, that's the thing I think about church that I think was really good for me when I, when I first, when I started going when I was younger, living at home, you know, you have no choice really, you know, living in an African household, living in a fairly conservative household, your family and stuff, and they're all happy, happy church fanatics and stuff, you know, God bless my parents, but not for me right now, but at the time, the one thing that I learned that was really, really impactful was this idea of stillness, right, it was this idea of like enforced prayer, where you go to a place and you pray on Sunday, you're not allowed to be on, I remember back in the day, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even allowed to be on my phone. Right, your mum will take your phone away from you. You have to concentrate to the preacher, um, hear, listen to what they're saying. You don't have to take notes. You go to Bible study. There was a lot of reflection, right? A lot of reflection, but a lot of it um, came in the form of writing stuff down. They wanted to write because I remember even when um, you remember when um, smartphones started to have Bibles in it. A lot of kids in my um, church would like use their phones and say, "Oh no, but I'm using the Bible. Using the Bible." So someone's caught using their phone, but like, no, look, look, I got the Bible. I got the Bible. I got the Bible on there, um, but over a period of time they just kind of completely like told people just to not use their phones and just kind of get back to actually reading a good book in your hands right uh, that kind of tactile feel kind of went a long way but one of the big lessons i learned was to write things down to make a list right we had a lot of those kind of you know what are they called what are they called a prosperity preacher that's what they call prosperity preachers sort of kind of people that would come in and tell you to write your goals down how to make your dreams happen some of it was all bullshit some of it was all kind of like all airy fairy nonsense but the idea of writing a list um and kind of like um, being specific in what you, what you write. Like, you know, sometimes they say to-do list. The best way to write a to-do list is not just to write, um, I don't know, write essay. It's to say how many how many paragraphs you want to write. What do you exactly want to write about? That's good. That's a good to-do list to kind of run through. And then you end up doing more of that list than just writing a kind of blanket. I'm going to write today. Get specific about what you're going to write, how long it's going to be, what is a success for you, what's the bare minimum, blah, 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 blah. But I learned to do that, practice writing this. And for me, I think it's a motor, it's a muscle memory thing or motor memory, muscle memory, where the fact that I'm writing it down, it kind of uh, drills it into my head a little bit more. It kind of etches it into my brain a little bit more so than me just thinking about doing something. Um, it, even, you know, I'm sure most of you guys have done it so far with your shopping list when you go to a supermarket and stuff, you know, using your notes app on your phone. The moment you write write down, like the moment I don't write something down on my notes app, but I think I'm going to remember it. I usually I usually forget it by the time I leave the shop. So um, I've I decided to kind of go back to my old school ways and start to write things down. And I've got my entire list of stuff I'm writing here. So this is my this is my kind of sober October list that I've got here holding up to the camera. I'm going to read it out to you guys listening via the podcast app. But essentially, I've got seven um, overall goals that I want to achieve in the month of October. Um, so the number one is to weigh 190 pounds, which is going to be about what's that? The stones. Let me update you guys quickly. Here, see what that is in stones units measure units plus. I got this little app that can maybe do a little. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Wait. Um, what's 100? What did I say? 190 pounds, right? 190 pounds is 13.5 stones. At the moment, I weighed myself this morning, and I'm finally down to 218 which is a fucking amazing i'm so happy i finally got under the 220s i've been 220 for ages right so now i'm finally down to 220 which is awesome um so i'm about one well, more 218 i'm about 15.3 stones and i want to get down to 190 by the end by the end of the sober october experience which is going to be probably the ninth which is going to be the ninth of november um so i want to get down to 190 um pounds which you can see there on the camera there boom, boom, boom which is about 13 point what was that 13 point uh, five stones which is going to be incredible um the second thing i'm going to do the aim is to do I'm, i want to train and put here on the camera to put it yeah i want to train at least five to six times per week right so that's going to be running three times a week three miles each each uh, running is going to be at least three miles minimum and i'm going to go to the gym two to three times a week which is going to include to do weights and then i'm going to do one hour of spanish language learning a, a, a day which is going to include duolingo it's going to include um 
the other books I have to use as well. I forgot the other books I have, but it's going through that sort of stuff. Um, then I'm going to do number five. I'm going to do every day of 16.8 intermittent fasting. So no matter what days I'm doing, because it's going to be easy now because I'm not drinking. I don't have the need to kind of break my fast because when I'm DJing and I'm going out, I have to break my, I, I have to kind of change the way I diet or change the way I do my intermittent fasting because I'm out with my friends. I don't want to have the, you know, that kind of, um, I don't want to just be like, I don't want to have that compromising situation where I, I get tempted or I feel like I'm d- damaging the mood. So because I'm not drinking, I'm not doing that stuff, I probably won't be out. I'll probably just make an excuse to go home or do the old French exit and just dip out. So that'll be easy to do during the whole month. It'll still be a challenge to get wrong, but it should be easier. Um, and then lastly, last but not, lastly but not least, um, I'm going to have the bottom ones, no alcohol and no drugs for the entire month until the 9th of November, which is going to be awesome. I can't bloody wait. Honestly, can't wait. It's going to be such a good time to do everything, um, to get everything um, back to where it should be. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be the 9th of November, isn't it? That's, that's, that's my list. So, side of the Yeah, it should be the 9th of November. One, two, two. It should be the 9th of November. Uh, it should be, right? Is it 9th of November? It should be. Let's see. Uh, day counter. Days counter. But I think it is going to be 9th of November. Date duration. Let's see. Let's say from the 9th, right? So let's say the 9th here of October until until the 9th of November. Pretty sure that, that, that that's what I want. Let me just make sure that that's correct. I'm not actually making this stuff up. Until the 9th of November 2019 should be that shouldn't it? it's calculate duration and we have here yeah 31 days yeah so it should be the same so on the, on that saturday is when i'm gonna get loose saturday midnight but yeah i'm looking forward to it man i really want to get down to a good weight i think already as you can see from my face on the camera i think I'm, I'm noticing my face is getting a little bit more slim than it was previously in the other months or the other videos i had so that's gonna be a good thing to watch back on when i'm watching these videos i put the podcast every other day i'm gonna see my face shrinking 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 which is gonna be quite cool to see and overall i'm just gonna be in a be- much better place in terms of my overall mind body and soul right um, I'm reading a lot as well. I've got loads of books that I'm reading. I've got, I've st- I started reading um, Ryan Holiday's new book. I still this is the key that's getting me going as well. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. So that, I recommend you do it if you haven't before. Uh, write out a list, get that list down there, uh, write something out that you want to do, and then w- once you do that, you will have a good way of kind of knowing exactly where you stand in terms of the whole sort of topic thing. But that's yeah, that's my update for that one. Um, and yeah, can't wait for it, man. I can't, I can't wait for the results at the end of this session.